Hello. Good evening. <clears throat> Hi. Happy Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. Happy Friday to you. <laughs> oh, did you have classes today? No. Oh, it's not. Uh, when is the school day again? When will you come back to school? Today was the finish vacation. Ah, today is the last day of vacation. Is that right? Yes. Ah, okay. So I thought today is the day uh, going back to school. Are you excited to go back mm, to school? Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, all right. So, did you enjoy your vacation? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. What? Too uh, short. Hmm? Too short. It was too short. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I see. Okay, but um what did you do most of your time? What did you do on your vacation? Mm -hmm. Oh, just stay at home. Oh, you just stayed at home. Maybe you sh uh actually maybe you should like go out. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. Okay. All right. So you still have you still have uh Saturday and Sunday. So what will you do tomorrow and Sunday? So you can oh. still you can still enjoy your vacation. Yes. Yeah, so what will you do? Mm. Maybe you can Nothing. go to, you can go to the mall. <laughs> right? You have to enjoy your your vacation. Like maybe you can watch a movie at home with your family. Okay. Will you go to church this Sunday? Yes. Okay. Do you go to church every Sunday? Yes. Mm, that's good. Okay. So, are you ready for today? Yes. Okay. So, all right. So, I will let you to answer again some questions. Okay? So, you can choose five numbers again. So, let's have your first number. Mm. What is your first number? 16. 16. What do you do at school? Just study with... Hmm? Study with my friends. What else? Um, almost nothing. Or just... Mm -hmm. Play. Play. Mm -hmm. Oh, school, it should be S E H O O L. <laughs> okay, so what do you do again? You study. What else? At school. You play. I play God. <coughs> and eat lunch. Yes, okay. What is the best part or what is the best thing you do at school? Mm, best thing? Yeah. Mm. 
almost there is no best, just physical. Physical. Mm -hmm. Physical class. PE. Uh -huh. Yeah, PE. Physical education, PE. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? The best thing I do at school is going to canteen. Do you know what canteen is? Like no. a, a, a lunch room canteen. Ah. Call this canteen. <laughs> going to cafeteria. Yes, that is the best thing. That I <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just joking. All right. And of course, the best thing also is uh, meeting with your friends, right? You meet your school friends. And you learn a lot. Okay. So next we have. Hold on. Okay. Let's have your second number. Oh, teacher, today is not gay. Hmm? Today is not gay. Today is? Not gay. Sorry, I can't. Today is no gay. Uh, this one, this one is the game. Mm. Mm. You don't like it? Or do you want mm -hmm. to play like? The two of us. Two of us. Ah, okay. I see. Let's see. Let's see. I will look for a game. Hmm. Mm. Let's see. What do I have here? I spy. Ah, uh, okay, this one. Let's play. So this game is I spy with my little eye. Do you know that game? We do this. We already did this? Yes. I spy with my eyes? Yes. Really? Yes. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's try again. Let's try. Okay, team one. Do you want to be team one? Yes. Okay. Okay. Two. Okay. Two. Okay, a spy with my little eye. Something beginning with G. It's very loud. Ah, yeah, we already did this. Okay, I <laughs> Oh no, I have a I have a short term memory. Okay, let's play another one. Hmm. Maybe another I spy. I don't know. This one is easy, actually. Hmm. What game do you like? Like guessing game? Do you like guessing game? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because when I asked you last time, you said that you don't like the game. <laughs> okay. So this one... Let's guess if it's a pigeon or not a pigeon, okay? All right, so you can be team one. Oops, Joshua, teacher. Okay, you may start. 20. 20. Oh, lost 20 points. Are you sure you like this game? Yeah. Okay. One. Is it a pigeon? Yes. Oh, no. A two. 
Wait, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ooh. Five. Take points from Joshua. Okay, I will take... I will take 15. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yes. No. Six. Reset score. Okay. Ten. No. Three. Yes. Oh, sixteen. No. Oh. Nineteen. Yes. Oh. Eight. Oh, ten points. Eleven. Yes. Twenty three. <laughs> yes. Thirteen. Yes. Oh. Seven. Yes. <gasps> Twelve. Yes. Oh, uh, seventeen. No. Ooh. Four. No. Oh. Uh, eighteen. Yes. <gasps> wow. Okay. Fifteen. Yes. Oh, what is happening to me? Nine. No. <gasps> wow, you're really good. Okay, 24. Oh, double points. <laughs> Only got 10. 14. Oh! oh, no, Joshua. Our score are both zero. I want to see your reaction. I want to see your reaction, but your camera is off. What is your reaction? Hello? Yes. What is your reaction? <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can be the winner for today. Is it a pigeon? Huh. Can you help me, Joshua? What do you yes. think? I, I will say yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yay, it's teacher. Okay. Do you want to have a chance? Yes. Okay, let's play again. <laughs> Do you want to play again? Yes. Okay. Mm. So maybe we can we can only have sixteen numbers, okay? Sixteen. Okay, I am I am team one. Okay, go Josh. I am no me me first. Seven. Yes. Joshua? Mm, 17. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell, tell. Mm, yes. One. Oh, other team loses 10 points. 15. Mm, yes. Yes. 
three. No. Six. Yes. Eleven. No. Oh, it's a yes. Thirteen, yes. Ten. Yes. Four, no. Sixteen. Oh, no points. Five. Take ten points. Fourteen. Yes. Uh oh. Eight. Yes. Nine. Yes. Ooh. All right. You win. <laughs> you already win, Joshua. Okay. That's good. All right. So our points one one. <laughs> okay, so this is the last game. So who will who will be the real winner? Okay. Yes. Okay, so one for teacher, one for Joshua. So the winner of this game is the ultimate winner. Okay. Hello, Joshua? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. You, you go first. No. One. Go to first place. Three. No. Four. Oh. Seven. Yes. <gasps> Five. No. Six. Yes. Oh. All right. My turn. <laughs> Let's see. What do you think, Joshua? Yes. Okay, I will say yes. Okay, I will say yes. Yes. Oh, you have me again. <laughs> All right. I am the ultimate winner. 2-1. Okay. Did you like the game? Yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you very much. All right, so now we can go to your lesson. Okay, so let's continue this Venn diagram. So let's answer this again, okay? So the difference between the Native American and the traditional Chinese medicine or their similarities. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's oh, have the second one. Tell me if it's Native American or Chinese, traditional Chinese. Mm. Second one. Yes. Ceremony, ceremony. Oh, ceremony is an essential part of traditional healing. Is it under Native or American or Chinese? Ceremony. Both. Is it both? No, oh, no, no, no. Native, native. Yes, American. Okay. Hold on. So instead of typing it inside, I will just write it down here, okay? Like I will tell this one is Native American. Okay. How about the third one? It uses. Mm, it uses indigenous plants 
for medical purposes. But this was tenderly a dead one. Oh. It used in indigenous plants for medical purposes. Dandelion. No, no, no. It, is it under American, Chinese, or both? Chin Chinese. Oh, no, 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 no. Both. Yes, both. Okay, I will put it here, both. Okay. Oh, so the first one is Chinese, right? Traditional Chinese. And how about the fourth one? Elements. Mm -hmm. Elements such as fire and water are symbols. This is Chinese. Correct. How about the fifth one? Um, the healing process includes the patient, his or her family, and the community. Native. Yes, okay. How about the next one? Um, elements are? Elements are associated with specific organs of the body. Mm -hmm. um, is it Chinese, American, Chinese. or both? Chinese. Oh, no, 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 both. The specific organs of the body. Chinese. Yes, it's under Chinese only. Okay, the last one. A patient is responsible for his or her own health. Um... Patient is responsible for his or her own health. Both. Both? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to the passage. Okay, so this is under Native American. Can you read this part? Oh, many traditional healers say that most of healing is done by the patient and that every person has a responsibility for his or her proper behavior and health. Okay. Native American. Yeah, so based on this one, so that is under Native American. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so patient's responsible. So it's under Native American. Okay. So let's have the next page. All right. So you're going to tell me, okay, you're going to review your answers. Okay. And you're going to answer the questions. Okay. Number one, Joshua, how are Native American medicine ways and traditional Chinese medicine medicine ways similar? How are they similar? Traditional uh, ways is similar. Uh, it uses indigenous plants for medical purposes. Yes, okay, or you can say they, they both yes. use, okay, so I will type it, oops, sorry, for medical purposes, there, okay, next. Number two, how are they different? How are they different? Mm -hmm. Different? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Native American is 
responsible for his or her own health. Mm -hmm. Oh. And Chinese is element, just element. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you say that again? So in Native American, mm -hmm. based on these sentences, how are they different? Mm. They different. Chinese is elements and native is the patients. Mm. Let's see. So you can say in Native American. Say, patience, or you can say, oh, let's let's talk about the Native American first. In this part, so the healing process includes patient, his or own family in the community. The patient is responsible for his or own health. So, what can you say about the Native American here? So, so in Native American, the patient is responsible, right? The patient is responsible for, or so the oh. patients are. His or her own health. Yes, for their own health. Okay, what else? Mm. The healing includes their family. Right? Not only the patient, but also the, the family of the patient and the community. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Okay. So how do you say that? So in Native American, the patients are responsible for their own health. Their family, their families... And communities are, are include in the healing process. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how about in Chinese? Can you tell me about the Chinese medicine? Okay, maybe we can go back in the passage. Let's look. Oops. Oopsie. Oh, what is happening? Oh, why it's that? Yeah. What is happening? Ah, this one. 108. Okay. So let's see. What are those elements? They use elements. What else? Hello, are you still there? Yes. Yeah. So in Chinese, they based on five elements. 
And what else? The other elements. Um, and, and specific elements. organs. Mm -hmm. Specific organs. Yes. So, all right. So, they... What can you say? Oh, no. My answers. Ah, the answers that I typed. Oh, there. there, there. Oh. Oh. What is happening? Uh oh. The answer that I the answer that I typed deleted. Okay, so let's say it again. In Chinese, they used the concept of elements. Okay, so to make it short, they use the concept of elements. Okay, can you read it again? In Native American, the patients are responsible for their own health. In Chinese, they use the concept of elements. Okay. All right. So let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let, let's add this. Their families... And community mm -hmm. are includes, are include health, in health the process. okay in the healing process. Okay, in Chinese they use the concept of elements. What else? Oh, you forgot some. You forgot another one. This part. In Chinese. Two forces. Yes. They also use... So they use the concept of elements and forces. Yes. Okay. All right. So now it's your time to shine. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, oh, what is happening in my Oh no. Well, control Z. Hold on. It's not scrolling. Ah. What is happening? Oh no. Hold on. Oh no, our answers. Deleted. Okay. Well, anyway, so did you remember? Okay, you're going to write a summary of the passage. So it should not be more than five sentences. Use your own words. Okay, so based on the passage, you're going to write summary. Okay. All right, now go, Joshua. You're going to write a summary about the Native American and Chinese medicine. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Based on these differences and similarities, so I want you to write a summary. Okay, you can start with a Native American. Okay, what do you remember? Mm, Native American. Oh. Patient, uh, the 
patient mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. the patient is and the community is the parent and this is responsible. Mm -hmm. So only the patient. So the patient is responsible for what? For for mm -hmm. for responsible the patient. Again, again, one more time. The patient is. Ah uh, no no no! In Native American, the um, the parents and the community is responsible for the patients. Um, I think no. It's not. It's not the community and the families are responsible, but the patient. Okay, so the patient is responsible. For his or, or her own health. Right? Okay, for example, I am the healer. I will tell you what to do. So you are only the responsible one for your health. Okay? Yeah. And then, in my healing, in the healing process, your the families and communities are included. Okay? So you can say... The family, the family and community are include in the healing process. Okay. So there, it means... Not only the patient is included in the healing process, but also the family and the community. Okay. Did you understand? Yes. Okay. Can you read again? In Native American, the patient is responsible for his or her own health. The family and community are included in the healing process. Yes. Okay. Correct. All right. So how about in Chinese? So in Chinese, in Chinese, there is a five elements. Okay. You can say they use five elements. And what else? Use five elements and what else do they use? Do they only use did did they use only the concept of five elements? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? The yin and yang. What do you call yin and yang? Hmm? They use the concept of five elements and there is Fire, water, and oh, oh, yes. Yeah, what do you call yin and yang? What do you call that two? Forces. Oh, right? Was forces, yin and yang. Did I think you forgot the two forces? Hold on. Imbalance and. Yes, yes, hold on. I'll show you. Where is that? This one? There. 
the two forces. The two forces are the yin and yang. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's it for today. Okay. So see you again next time, Joshua. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher.